return with another media guide program opening. This one just arrived in the mail today. Some eBay wins of late with how erratic the uh, postal service has been. Uh, who knows when you're going to get some of this stuff. You could get it reasonably quickly, like I got from this guy within about a week. And other ones, who knows. But uh, I've already prepped this a little. Okay, and now we're inside a priority mailer. Let's see what this one is. I have a pretty good idea what this one is. But I don't know for positive. Okay, we have a, this is a no bag, no board. Okay, that's not a personal favorite right there. But this is a uh, 19, and I don't remember the year, this is Clark Gillies of the Islanders on the cover. I believe this is the New York Islanders at the now defunct Atlanta Flames. So this will be good for a few minutes. Uh, I guess that's, I think that might be Captain Tom Lysiak. Yep, there we go. Captain of the Atlanta Flames. Talking about Atlanta restaurant Charlie Magruder's. Atlanta Flames directory. Flames career scoring. There was Lysiak as the career score at the time. Various flame numbers. Flames introduced rapid fire, which is a, uh, that's an all nice contest in between periods. The words of the National Anthem and the Canadian National Anthem, if you ever feel like singing. Some more uh, concession prices. This stuff's always fun. This is from the Omni, and I I believe it's 75, the 75-76 75, season. Because as you can see, they play the Cleveland Barons, so it's going to be one of the two years from there. To so go up and buy popcorn. 35 cents, peanuts, 35 cents, chips, 35 cents, ice cream cups, 40 cents, candy, 50 cents, pizza, 60 cents, hot dog, 60, super dog, a dollar, chicken sandwich, a dollar, 50, wine, a dollar, aspirin and roll aids, which I'm sure you'll need if you drink, eat enough of this stuff, a large soft drink, 50 cents, the most expensive thing here is a beer or wine, which costs you a buck. Or a chicken sandwich, a dollar half, and then you have uh, mixed drinks for dollar seventy-five. You don't see those on very many uh, concessions at hockey games or any sports games anymore. And cigarettes, seventy cents out of a vending machine. Coca-Cola. Can you have Atlanta without Coca-Cola? And there's the flame and flames and Omni novelties. Yeah, it's a street hockey stick appears to be the most expensive thing until you get the, there's a backpack for five bucks. Flames jersey, fifteen dollars. Men's line nylon jacket, sixteen dollars is the most expensive thing. It says Flames in Omni, but I don't see anything from the Omni. The Omni only opened up a few years before they opened up the same year the Flames began. Coach Fred Creighton, general manager Cliff Fletcher, who became a much, uh, eventually became very uh, successful with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Bernie Boom Boom Jeffrey on, former great Canadian. David Poyle, who wound up uh, building both the Washington Capitals and the uh, Nashville Predators. Meet Harold Filipoff. And there's some various teams and their. Uh, General manager and coaches. Now, this is the uh, 77 78 Flames. I'd say the best players of this bunch. There's Bill Clement, who was probably a much better hockey announcer after his career. Tom Lysiak was a very good player. Eric Vale had a big season. Daniel Bouchard was their main goaltending star uh, before they would move to uh, Calgary. Now we go to the, remember how I had said that they go to uh, various, they have the chunk that is the home team, and then they put the generic national, the Quintrix for two from Panasonic. So I have a, an interview with Rodney Dangerfield. Why Rodney cares about hockey, I'm not sure. Some 
hockey cartoons. A very well-dressed man from the Gantt Attitude. See, this is just before the time. Isn't it time that you enjoyed smoking? Okay. This is uh, before the Ted Turner TBS era where Atlanta was still not exactly the... Uh, wasn't the city that it is today, the Sodi Bainabax. Now that does, this, that actually would think this is a little early for 77, 78, but it makes sense. The Sony Bainabax, the picture in quality was actually a little better than VHS, but from what, this is an urban legend, I don't know this for absolute sure, that the two things that helped VHS beat Bainamax was Film studios other than Sony would only deal with VHS, not beta, because it would hurt their you know, competing studios. And VHS was quicker to get to to uh, porn films, which probably is more the latter than the former. There's uh, Jiggs McDonald, who uh, was a big-time announcer for the Islanders, but perhaps he was with the Flames at this point. This, this, this was a game from Thursday, February 2nd. Don't know who won that game. but uh, And there was your lucky number if you would have went out on the uh, uh, attempt to play that hockey game that we talked about earlier. The NHL Saturday Game of the Week on WATL 36 Atlanta. And that Saturday coming up was the Buffalo Sabres at the Minnesota North Stars. There's a photo essay of various. The end of the Rocky Road, Doug Favell, former flyer in Colorado Rocky and Maple, Maple Leaf. Now, uh, an interview with Max McNabb. He was part of the original... Uh, New Jersey Devils, who were still in Colorado with the Rockies at this point. There's that NHL television network game of the week. We must not have had that around here because I don't remember it. O.J. Simpson, the juice, running through the airport at Hertz. Flames Radio, there, well, there we go. There's uh, Jason McDonald and Boom Boom Jeffrey on. Announcing the year of the uniform at Steak and Shake. Steak and Shake restaurants are provided flames, team jersey, sticks, puck, caps, and gym bags. On February 4th, you'll be outfitted with flame stockings. Okay, so you should have had your flames uniform all ready to go. And then, there we go. Hello, super fan. The flame on channel 17, WCTG. That was the station owned by Ted Turner. Soon to be changed to WTBS. Some kid picture uh, of the flames as, as kids. WSB Radio, which is still the biggest sports voice in the South. The Atlanta Schedule. The uh, NHL All-Stars. There's Larry Robinson, former New Jersey Devil head coach. Coach them to, to a Stanley Cup win. There's the, uh, the scoreboard where you, that's where you would note who scored and who didn't and all that fun stuff. Hockey penalties complete with uh, a woman in a shirt with a short dress made out to look like a referee. So, well, at least that would grab people's attention if that's what they were looking for. And there's the Omni, which is the main reason I bought this, because I like buying stuff with teams that don't exist. And the Omni, much better remembered as a professional wrestling hotbed. Some various NHL trophy winners of the previous year. The Flames all-time records. While the red and white burn them up, cool them off with our gold Tuborg. And there is a... The Flames fan club. Uh, exactly what I was looking for from, from uh, an Atlanta Flames program. 
lots of neat little flame stuff in Omni. Uh, not thrilled, no bag and board, but I'll live. Here is our quickie time uh, killer. Uh, this is the Skywalkers of Jim Crocker Promotions from Starcade 86. Uh, this, this was held partially in Greensboro. Some of the card was Greensboro, North Carolina. And others of the card was held in the Atlanta Omni. So there's a special grudge match. I have no idea who uh, won the special grudge match or who won Sam Houston against Bill Dundee. Or Don and Rocky Carnoodle versus Nelson Royal and Tim Corner. Uh, I do know that this is uh, Ivan Koloff and Crusher Khrushchev, who later became Demolition Smash, against the Kansas Jayhawks, Dutch Mantel and Bobby Jaggers. I know the Russians won that one. Uh, then down here we have Jimmy Garvin versus Brad Armstrong. I believe Jimmy Garvin won that. Uh, then these were all these. Some of these were on the Starcade video today. Big Bubba against Ron Garvin. Big Bubba Rogers later to be the big boss man. He wins that one. The Indian Strap match. Wahoo McDaniel versus Rick Rude. That was not on that tape, but I can't imagine that Wahoo McDaniel didn't win it. Jimmy Valiant versus Paul Jones. Hair versus hair, which I believe it was Jimmy Valiant winning and Paul Jones getting his head shaved. This is uh, in a steel cage where it's the Rock and Roll Express against Ole and Arn Anderson. And that, the, the winner there was uh, the Rock and Roll Express. Then you go to the match that everybody remembers on this card, the, the scaffold match, the Midnight Express, Dennis Condry and Bobby Eaton managed by Jim Cornette against the Road Warriors. This is the famous match where Jim Cornette goes to the top of the scaffold fall straight down and blows out every ligament in each leg. Just looking at that is painful on replay. This is uh, Tully Blanchard in a first blood match with Dusty Rhodes. Tully Blanchard wins that one to regain the world television title. And uh, the belt that sits at my house, not Tully's actual belt, but uh, uh, it, it's exactly like it, but it's not the actual belt. Uh, due to nefarious doing from James J. Dillon. That's how uh, Tully won that one. And then this is Ric Flair defending the world title against Nikita Koloff. I think Nikita won by disqualification. And there is a, a rundown of the card. And then the other big Jim Crockett promotion, the Great American Bash, the Jim Crockett Tag Team Tournament. And the bunkhouse stampede. And then on the back, here's a picture of uh, Nikita Koloff and Dusty Rhodes wearing the belt that would soon become the Tully Blanchard. So, uh, a look at two events at the Omni. 1977-78, the Islanders at the, at the Atlanta Flames, and Starcade 86. Thanks for watching, and we'll be back next time. So, for, hit that subscribe button and help a guy out. Spread the word. We would appreciate it.